Mm -hmm. Delicious. Don't lick the screen. Ew. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Answering Stuff where I take questions from the internet and I answer them. I'm not qualified, but I do it anyway. This week, I asked you guys to ask me just anything. And apparently, that was a really hard thing for some of you to do because you like me to hold your hand, but I don't really want to touch people on the internet. Here is some of the things that you guys managed to come up with. First, let's check out Bookface. Doug asks, why do green M&Ms taste so much better than other M&Ms? Because green M&Ms are laced with crack cocaine. Are those the same things? I don't really know drugs. Don wants to know, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Just bite it. Just bite the thing. Carl wants to know, what was the first music CD that you purchased? Aerosmith's Big Pump? Because when you're a child who grows up on extremes porno graffiti, Charlie wants to know, why is a raven like a writing desk? So you know a raven's legs, right? And like, you know a desk's legs? <laughs> what? Mike asks, whose house? Run's house, duh. Zach asks, how many penitentiaries y'all gonna build? Sarah wants to know, now that California has banned single-use plastic bags, what is the future of grab bags? Could California outlaw them too? Whew, that, this is, I feel like you needed to warn me to be sitting down for this one. Jean asks, if a train leaves Phoenix at 11.52, traveling east at 75 miles per hour, and a train leaves El Paso heading west at 82 miles per hour, what time does happy hour start? Mom, you and I both know that I barely passed trigonometry in high school because I bribed the teacher. It starts at five. Ben wants to know why is there braille on the buttons to drive through ATMs? I don't know, but this is a question that has blown my mind since I knew what an ATM was and I knew what braille was because really that person should not be driving a car if they cannot see the button, like they have to touch something. I'm getting really stressed out about this. Lauren asks, why do you ride on a train but stand in the station? Mike asks, put packages in a car and call it a shipment. Put packages on a ship and call it cargo. These ones hurt, they hurt the brain so much. Clarice, I don't know, it's too much, too much coverage for, uh, whatever. Let's see if Bumbler chimed in at all this week. Ah. Oh! Nothing? Okay. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. What do you got, Twatter? That's a vagina joke. <laughs> Fiddle the Ash asks, are we not doing phrasing anymore? No, we are not. Thing of the past. Innovating. Steve Jobs. CEB Silver asks, Q, if existence is basically an exercise in futility, why are there not enough bears to fight in Thunderdome? <sighs> wow. That is quite. Finally, let's check in with the psychopaths on Gargle Plus. Free, 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 free. <laughs> Alfred Henderson asks, why do pretty girls whine so much? It, it doesn't really have anything to do with like what they look like. Oh, wait a second. It appears another brilliant Gargle Plus user has the answer. Joe Logan responds, because you bore them? To which Alfred Henderson says, I don't think so, Mr. Logan. I'm called the great for a lot of reasons. Boring not being one of them. Ask your girlfriend. Oh, snap. I did that the wrong way. <laughs> Whatever. So there you go, guys. We made it through another episode. If you have ideas or suggestions for a future episode, leave them in the comments below. I will most likely do them. And don't forget that if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe it, and share it with all your friends so they can be just as confused as you every freaking Wednesday because that's what true friends do. And if you don't share it with them, you're a dickhole. Jen asks, how do you take your sausage? You know, with peppers and onions, don't be pervy. Are you wondering how I, with my infinite wisdom, could answer the burning questions you have on a topic that I very specifically feed to you to ask me a question about? Well, all you have to do is pay attention to my social media, you idiot. Every Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific time, 
I post the question on Twitter, Google+, Tumblr, and Facebook, literally clenching my butt cheeks so hard so I don't fart right now.